morning hit the start button why you got your hood on you cool or something this morning a little bit all right no i didn't mean like cool temperature wise i mean like you know you just feeling cool today yeah like you know like you cool yeah you making noise on my microphone i know i'm sorry i'm trying to fix this stuff it was already fixed no it wasn't yes it was good morning i think it was huh. What are you doing over there? Instagram, y'all okay? Brittany making y'all nauseous. Mm -mm. See how uh, bright, bright you are right there? Hey, watch oh, it, man. sister. Hold on. Sorry. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Hey, Judy. How's it going? All right, get on your game, Brittany. Get I'm on your game. To. I'm about to. Okay, what you doing? Because do not disturb us too long. Nobody's going to call you. I know that, but still... If they call you, we just gonna say hello, Brittany. I ain't know if you, cause that stuff still coming down. You make it. You typing in like characters that don't make sense. Y'all think somebody gonna call Brittany's more? Even just my luck, somebody that call her. <laughs> it's five fifty six. Good morning. Hi, Brian. How's it going? What's up, everybody? Y'all good today? Hey, Randy. Hey, Vet. Maria. What's up over here? Peace fourteen underscore. <laughs> hey, Pat. <laughs> Oh, y'all make it hard for me on Instagram to say hello to y'all. Evans.Angela M. Hi. Hi, J. Molly Miller. You bought your throw last night. Uh-oh, that's a throw. I'm sorry. You bought your throw last night. Woo-woo. Yay. Hey, DeAndra. Hey, Avis. Hey, Tanisha. Hi, Winston. Dot Carol. Hi, BN Moody. Hi, Invest in You. Y'all are so funny. Hey, Wanda underscore Dream Push Your Life Coach. Wanda, you go back and forth from uh, Instagram to Facebook. So, how's everybody this morning? Hey, Thin Team. Um, did y'all have a good extended holiday weekend? I did, but it still went really fast. Um, we got a lot done this weekend. <laughs> Hi, Envy579. Uh, we got a lot done this weekend. Hi, Miss Vanessa. So, I'm very, very thankful this morning that we got so much accomplished order-wise. Uh, so, we got a lot of things on its way out to you guys today. Yes, I shouted you out. Good morning. Let me see who that was. It said, oh my God, you shouted me out. Yes, invest in you. Good morning. I shouted you out. So, uh, hi, Nadine. And so, we got a lot done this weekend, and we're really happy about that. Hi, Dream Girl 137. Y'all are tripping me out this morning. It's Ethel, good morning. But, Brittany and I, Thad, she helped. Tabitha was a big help. You know, Thad was in and out. But we got a lot done this weekend. And so a lot of you guys might have been emailing, asking questions about your order. And I didn't answer you because I was feeling your order. <laughs> so now you know that your order is on the way. And I just want to thank you guys for that. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But let's go ahead and tell the Lord thank you. Hello from Omaha, Nebraska. Let's go ahead. And, and hey, make sure you tell us where you're from. T go ahead and type in another entry and just tell us where you're from. Um, but let's go ahead and go into prayer and just tell the Lord how good he is. Y'all feeling good this morning? I hope so. Uh, today's going to be an amazingly great day. So let's go ahead and give God glory this morning. And for those who are, I always say this, sorely disappointed when I started wearing makeup, you can be happy today because I don't have on any. Uh, let's go into prayer. Father, we thank you this morning for your grace and your mercy and your love. God, we thank you that we are being prepared for what you have for us, Lord. We are preparing for the blessing that is coming our way. And God, we honor you for it. We're just so excited. We're going to go into a study on Samson. Uh, you dropped it in my heart this morning. I'm going to obey. And so, Lord, we thank you for this study on Samson, uh, the strongest man who ever lived. So we're excited to learn more about him and his story. God, we honor you today just for your word and for how it's so transformative and life-giving. Lord, I thank you so much for my Warrior Nation family that it doesn't feel like a chore to do this every day. It, it's a blessing. It feels like a blessing to have this time with my family. So God, I honor you for what you're doing. Something so unique, something so good, something so marvelous for us. God, I thank you today that you rest your hand upon the warriors as you rest your hand upon Jabez. God, and I thank you that even now you're increasing them on every side. You're enlarging their territories. God, you're you're blessing them. Uh, you're wowing them, God. You're doing more in their lives than they can ask or imagine. And I just thank you for it this morning. We love them so much, God. You know that. And we just thank you for what you're doing in the lives of everyone who follows me, everyone who's attached to me, everyone who's in connection with me, everyone who's a part of the warrior nation. God, I thank you that that blessing that is resting upon me is resting upon my brothers and my sisters. 
And I thank you for it this morning. Holy Spirit, you're the teacher. We're listening. Our ears are itching for a fresh word from the throne room. We thank you for it this morning. Uh, Lord, give us hearts that will willingly obey your word. And Jesus, we love you. We thank you for the work of the cross. Lord, we thank you for the air that you saw fit to breathe into our lungs today. We're so thankful for it. Just tell them how much you love them, y'all. Just say, Lord, we thank you. No matter what we're up against today, Father, we look to you. You're our help. We thank you today. We thank you. We bless you. We look to you. We believe in you. We trust in you. We know that you are promise keeping. If you said it, you will surely bring it to pass. So, Father, we're excited about today. We love you. Bless our time together. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Good morning. Good morning, warriors. Good to see you guys this morning. We're growing in your word. That's right. So we're growing in your word. Y'all be sure to share this video. Um, Brittany's handing me things. Oh, is this something I'm going to understand? Okay, what you got to do? And what? Oh, Brittany let the battery die on the computer. She handed me the iPad and said, you're on your own this morning. Okay, I'm on my own. Here we go. Jackson, Mississippi right now is 70 degrees, cloudy. Uh, oh, my goodness. We having rain and thunder today. Again, high of 79. Scattered thunderstorms this afternoon. Winds are coming out of the east, northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. 90% chance of rain. So if you're in the Jackson area, get your rain boost out. Looks like it's going to go down today. Uh, that's our weather forecast. The sun is going up at 6.34 a.m. And it's going down at 7.28 p.m. So that's our weather forecast today. It's going to rain. Um, I was praying this morning about the storm, Irma, that God will turn it around. Um, that's our prayer. We won't stop praying that. We're asking God to turn that storm around um, so you guys can pray for that also because we don't really know what direction it's going in right now. But I just said pray. I pray it goes back out to where it came from because we don't want it to go anywhere. We don't want it to land anywhere or hit anybody. And so we pray that the Lord will turn that storm around. Um, ladies, make sure you register for the I Am Woman Conference. And you're going to have about two more weeks to order your I Am Woman tees. And after that, we're going to cut it off because that's the only way we're going to be able to get everybody their shirts in time for the conference. So if you're coming to the conference or if you're not coming to the conference and you just want to support us that day and wear your shirt, make sure that you hashtag I Am Woman and Warrior Nation. And I want you to take over social media if you're not going to be there. But you can't do that if you don't have your shirts. And you have to get trace enough time to make your shirts. So if you're coming or you're going to support that day because the conference is October 6th and 7th, hey, Don and Victoria, then you really need to go ahead and get your shirts. Please do not wait to the last minute because if you do, you're not going to have your shirt for the conference. Remember, the bling is taking about 14 days. Top. Some some is faster than that. But just to be on the safe side, we want you to make sure that you order your shirts in time. Uh, if you, Unless you just want to be the one at the conference without your shirt. Because most people are going to have, the majority of people are going to have their shirt. So, you know, if you don't want to wear your shirt, fine. But we are asking you guys to wear that shirt on that Saturday, which is October the 7th. That's when we're going to wear our I Am Woman shirts. And, of course, we're asking you to wear Warrior Apparel to the conference because that's how we're going to recognize you when we see you. And it's going to be so amazing. So, you guys already know how to order your tickets for that. Uh, time is running out for that. So, go ahead and get your tickets for that. Uh, I have a testimony. Where is it, Brittany? Brittany, don't have it together. It's okay, Brittany. We don't have anything else to do. We'll just wait. <laughs> She's over here going, <laughs> y'all just see it's hilarious. Okay, this is good. And we're going to post this today so y'all can see that I'm not just talking. Okay, hello, Warrior Nation. I want to share my praise report on Monday. This is a miracle testimony. On Monday evening, I returned home from work to find the temperature inside my home was hotter than the temperature outside. It was 75 degrees at 8 p.m. inside her home. I checked the unit outside, the AC unit, and it was blowing. And I checked the furnace in the garage and found that ice had formed on the pipes which caused the air to stop blowing inside my house. My house is 17 years old. I called the air conditioner repair lady, and she reminded me of our conversation last year around the same time when she told me it was time to replace the unit, $3,500. They're only good for about 10 years, and this unit is 17 years old. So after speaking with her, I started praying, Lord, I need you now. I also remembered all of the praise reports surrounding the Miracle T-shirts. So I ran upstairs and got my Miracle T-shirt and laid it on top of the frozen pipe in my garage. I took my shower and went to bed early. Now, I knew that the ice would melt. However, my worry was that the unit was not going to blow cold air anymore. And maybe the repair lady was right that it was time to replace the unit. I said another prayer before I went to sleep. Lord, help my unbelief. 
So Tuesday morning, I left home and forgot to check on the air conditioner unit. But that afternoon, I rushed home, turned the air conditioner on, and the sound of the unit was sweet music to my ears. Yes, yes, yes. It was blowing cold air. I'm on day two in hot Atlanta and it's still working. Our father is so good. He is awesome. Kelly, Britt, Britt, Thad, and the Warrior family, let's keep praying. Your sister in Christ, Minister Charlene from Atlanta. So y'all, wait till Brittany shows y'all the picture. She took her miracle shirt and laid it on top of the pipes to her air conditioning unit and it started back working. So that's the miracle testimony today. I briefly shared, we all shared yesterday, Brittany, Thad, Tab, and myself, we shared uh, our personal testimony, some of them on the video yesterday, and then at the end the video cut off, but you guys still heard the testimony. But I was talking about briefly how the Lord is healing me of traction alopecia and how my hair has not grown around the size of my head since I was a little girl. And I kid you not, when I kid you not, this is the part I left out yesterday. When all these testimonies started coming, I mean, I have tried everything under the sun, including a $10,000 hair transplant. I went to Bosley in Atlanta and had a $10,000 hair transplant about four years ago, and it still didn't do anything. Like, it was just, it, it still didn't do anything. And so this last fast, I was like, Lord, I'm not going to stop believing you to heal my hair. Like, that, for God to put hair back on my head, it's not too hard. And I mentioned yesterday how, you know, I've been, I have been teased all my life about it as a, as a kid in middle school, high school, you get grown and people still tease you about stuff like that. And I just remember saying, Lord, I know it's not hard for you to put strings of hair back on my head. You said in your word that every, you, you know, the numbers of hairs on my head. And I was like, God, I'm seeing all these healings and testimonies to everybody else. And I'm so happy and I'm praying and believing. And I'm like, God, if you're going to use us, you're going to use me to bless and heal through me. Then surely you can give me hair like that is not too hard for you. And I kid you not. I took a miracle shirt. The Lord reminded me of it last night because I didn't say this on the video yesterday. And I took, because we don't have any headbands. I haven't been able to find any yet. I took a miracle shirt and I literally laid it on top of my head. I laid it across the front of my head like, like this band is right now. And I prayed. And I said, Father, I thank you that I have a full head of hair. I said, like, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how long I've been without hair. It's nothing for you to put hair back on my head. And I kid you not, that was about three months ago when I just really said, Lord, I need you to heal me. I, he already healed my high cholesterol. He already healed me of insomnia. All this stuff has happened this year since I've been fasting, since we've been doing all this fasting. But I asked God to do something that I know I have been believing him to do forever. I have been praying, but I never fasted about it. I have been praying and praying and praying for the Lord to heal my head. But there's some things that only move by fasting and prayer. And as you can see, my hair is growing in for the first time that in all of my life that I can remember. You can go back and look at my old videos and you can see where there was none. And now you can see where there is some and it's pretty too. And I'm so thankful for it because God is a healer. He is a healer. And so whatever it is you believe in God to do for you, whether it's a healing, thank you, Sharon, said your hair is very pretty. Whether it's a healing your finance or a healing your body or a healing your mind, whatever it is, a healing of your air conditioner. Like God is just amazing and he can do anything but fail. And when we come together like we're doing and we're standing on Mark 11 and 24, we believe in what we pray for. God is going to continuously do the miraculous in our lives. So with that being said, I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Happy birthday. Today is your birthday. And if you're new to the page, welcome. I know I'm still trying to find a scarf or something for us, but we're going to go to Judges today, 13, 1 through 4. You guys, you can go ahead and continue ordering your miracle throws. We we order extra to make sure that we will have enough in this first order. So until I say uh, we're out and we're doing a second order, if you continue to order now, your order will be a part of this first shipment that comes in. We just took a chance. We stepped out on faith and we doubled the amount that was purchased, believing that God would fill it up, believing that God would increase it, believing that God I would touch people to buy these and bless me with these, not just for Christmas, but just because of what God is doing through the miracle line that people would continuously buy the throws. And so in order for God to work, we had to give them something to work with. And so we doubled the number of throws. So you guys can keep right on ordering the throws. Brittany will post the link to the throws. Matter of fact, you can pin the link to the throws now. And let's get into the word. The message today is prepare for the blessing. Type it in. I'm preparing for my blessing. 
preparing for my blessing y'all let's get this in our spirits this morning preparing for the blessing and facebook warriors uh you're welcome she said thank you for doing that you're welcome because i feel like more people wanted to get it but just couldn't get it just yet so we took a leap of faith and we doubled the number of miracle throws so until i say it's time for a new order whatever you order from here until i announce it will be a part of this first shipment that comes in so um and if you don't mind i mean i cannot make you but if you don't mind we would really appreciate it if you purchase your throws separate uh from everything everything else if if only if you're able to if you're not don't worry about it but it would really help us out a lot if you a lot of people have already done this but if you will let the throw be separate that will be a huge blessing to us it's ten dollars to ship each throw and a lot of people have ordered the throw and other things and we're so happy for that but because we're sending you your other things we've already used up all the shipping on your other things and so now we're having to ship on our own all of your throws so if only if you don't mind we'll really appreciate it if you would make the throw a separate transaction if you don't want to do it fine but if you're willing to help us out a little bit we would really appreciate that so with that being said preparing for your blessing judges 13 1 through 4 i'm so excited about this i thought we were going to exodus i really did but i feel the god want us to go here for however long so we're going to be in judges 13 1 through 4 anybody excited about the word today i am y'all know i get excited about the word learn about samson things i didn't know prepare for the blessing y'all Prepare for it. I got some things I need to clean out of my closet. Since I don't wear anything but warrior apparel now, there's no point in me having all these clothes in my closet because I'm not going to put them on. So I got to clean out my closet. You know, I was telling y'all beginning of the year, clean out your closets. Um, now, I seriously got to clean out my closet because I'm believing God do great things, amazing things in my life and in yours. And so I got to clean out some things here to make room for my new move because God's going to bless me with my new home. Uh, so with that being said, let's go to Judges 13, 1 through 4. Also, people have been asking about my book. Uh, I have my book wrapped in my miracle shirt. Brittany, you can post a link to that. Y'all get your copy. It's going to bless you. Buy it for somebody else for Christmas, too. It's on, You can find it on Amazon. That's an easy place to go and find it. They do offer it on Prime. So when God is silent, grab that book. I've got it wrapped in a miracle shirt now, so I know everything is good there. Okay, here we go. Judges 13, 1 through 4. As soon as I find it, you know, this, I'm going to have to go to my iPad. For some reason, this thing doesn't want to pull up my word anymore. Thank you, Lord. You know, you stall when you can't find you like, Lord, thank you. You're awesome. You're really laughing at me. Anybody know that he's good? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, don't you, Brittany? Ah, come on and shout hallelujah. You still looking. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You still hear pages turn. Let me get y'all a minute. All right, here we go. This is great. Uh, Judges 13, 1 through 4. I want, I'm going to read it in a New Living Translation. This is fun. Y'all ready? Here we go. They're laughing at me. Preparing for your blessing. Oh, uh, MV579 says, I love your book. I have your book and I love it. Thank you. All right, here we go. Got to clean that closet out. All right, here we go. The birth of Samson. How exciting is this? Oh, I'm excited. All right. Again, the Israelites did. Now, we already know about our brothers and sisters, the Israelites. We can't point our fingers at them because we, we've been disobedient too, but they were really disobedient. Like, I guess because it's documented and we can say, man, they just didn't listen. They just did not listen. It says, again, Again, now, y'all, the Israelites did evil in the Lord's sight. So the Lord handed them over to the Philistines who oppressed them for 40 years. In those days, a man named Manoah from the tribe of Dan lived in the town of Zorah. His wife was unable to become pregnant and they had no children. The angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah's wife and said, even though you have been unable to have children, you will soon become pregnant and give birth to a son. So be careful. You must not drink wine or any other alcoholic drink, nor eat any forbidden food. Okay, I'm going to stop right there one more time. In those days, a man named Manoah from the tribe of Dan lived in the town of Zorah. His wife was unable to become pregnant and they had no children. The angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah's wife and said, Even though you've been unable to have children, you will soon become pregnant and give birth to a son. So be careful. You must not drink wine or any other alcoholic drink, nor eat any forbidden food. We're going to stop right there today. God is allowing you. He's giving you a warning. This is it, y'all. We have to prepare for the blessing. So this is so cool. You notice how many stories in the Bible are of women that are barren, but then God steps in. Women who cannot pr produce fruit, and then God steps in and sends them a promise, and the promise manifests. I know there are people out there right now, you know, you believe in God to open your womb for fruit of the womb. A lot of couples out there are believing God to bless them with a child. And I pray that you don't give up in this season. I pray that you use examples like this and like the testimonies I've shared over the weekend that even though some things take time, it doesn't mean that God's forgotten about you, that God's not going to answer your prayers. So here we have Samson's mom and dad. 
we just make it easy. And the husband, and this is even written, I even talk about this story in my book, believe it or not. But the husband is not there at the time that the angel comes and speaks to the wife. But obviously they had a good relationship because she was able to go back and share with her husband what had been revealed to her by the angel. And basically the angel comes up. Uh, she doesn't know them, but they know her. The angel knows her. That's how you know there was some conversation going on about her and about Manoah in heaven. As we've already realized that there's some conversation going on about us too in the heavens right now. Brittany's shaking her head. And we're excited about that. It's pretty good when heaven is talking about you. That's always a good sign. And so the angel comes and tells her, you know, I know you're barren. You see how the angels know what's going on? Like, like they knew with Sarah. They knew she didn't have a child. They knew. And uh, the angel says, you know, I know you're, you're barren, but you're going to have a baby. You're going to have a son. And because you're going to have a son, right now, stop drinking anything you shouldn't be drinking. Don't eat anything you're not supposed to eat. So, it didn't. the angel didn't say, once you find out you're pregnant, uh, then you stop doing these things. The angel says, look, we're about the Lord is about to bless you with a seed, a son. So, right now, stop all the stuff that you're doing so that you can prepare for what God is about to give you. See, God always calls us into a season of preparation before he releases the blessings. Just like I know, the fact that I'm on here seven days a week now, and sometimes twice a day, I know it is because God is preparing me for something greater. And I have to have this kind of experience, uh, and experience is the best teacher, to be prepared for what God has for me next. And if God is requiring you guys to tune in with me every day, and to pray with me, and to fast with me, and to experience miracles with me that's because he has something greater for you too also but we have to be prepared and this is simply a seasonal preparation because as we get ready to go into this next season y'all 2018 is the year that we shall walk in wealthy places god already gave me the revelation what 2018 is going to be remember this year is the year of the manifested promise 2018 will be the year that we walk in wealthy places remember we understand what it means now to have our territories enlarged we understand what the prayer of jabez means now so you guys receive that we're going to talk more about that but 2018 is our year the warrior nation's year to walk in wealthy places to walk in high places to walk in blessed places the place the year where god's going to place us before great men and great women he's going to give us platforms and voices of influence that's what's going to happen in 2018 that's why we're preparing that's why we're doing all this praying and fasting because we have to be ready for what's ahead that's why you got to clean out your closets that's why you got to clean out your vehicles that's why you got to do things around your house because we have to prepare for what is next and it does not matter what it looks like right now because samson's mother appeared to be barren it appeared that she would go to her grave childless. But don't you know that God can turn your situation around just like that? Just like that? That's exactly what's about to happen to Samson's mother and father. The angel of the Lord came in and gave her a word. And God made that word good. Because when God gives you a promise, you better know he's going to bring that word to pass. Yes, 2018 is going to be our year. I'm so excited about it. The whole thing is prepare for your blessing. Prepare for your blessing. I say it all the time. I'm not going to stop saying it because the Holy Spirit keeps bringing it back to me. What's your next move? What do you have to do now in these last... Y'all, do you realize this year is almost over? What are we going to do? We're going to fast some more, that's for sure. We're going to pray some more, that's for sure. But what else do we need to do to be ready for this wealthy place we're about to walk in? Y'all know I'm not gimmicky. You know I don't play that. If God had not told me that, I would not be speaking out of my mouth. When the Lord told me the name, the Eight Oklahoma event, A Night of Miracles, have not miracles come forth from that night. God gave that to me prophetically, and it is exactly what has been happening ever since we went to Oklahoma. And now God is saying, next year will be your year to walk in a place you didn't know you could walk in. But in order to do that, a season of preparation is required. And that is why we're doing this right now. It may seem like it's overkill. Or maybe it doesn't take all that. Do we really have to get up every morning and pray? Do we have to fast all the time? Is it really that serious? Yes. If you want to be blessed, if you want to tap destiny, if you want to walk out what God has purpose for you, yes, to whom much is given, much is required. And so with that being said, we're going to stop it right there today. Are you preparing for your blessing? What is God telling you to do? What is the Lord telling you to do, y'all? We have got to get ready. We have got to get ready for our healings. We've got to get ready for the blessings, y'all. We've got to get ready. we got to move stuff around. We've got to get ready, y'all. Are you ready? Type it in. I'm getting ready. I am prepared for my blessing because we have to be able to receive the blessing when it comes. 
We have to be able to receive it. Just like I told my husband about these miracle throws when we decided to step out there and double the number of throws and believe that God is going to send people to get them. Because we are, God already promised he's going to do more with the throws than he has done with the shirts. And I just can't even imagine what's going to happen with these throws if he's going to do more with the throws than with the shirts. But that's the word he gave me. And I'm not trying to figure it out. I'm taking him at his word. But because I believe in what he has told me, I doubled the numbers. With that being said, we were like, where are we going to put them? My husband said, well, we'll just section off the living room. Nobody can go in there. And we'll fill the living room up with the blankets. Because they won't be there long. Amen. And so with that being said, I trusted God. We doubled the numbers, and now we are making room unless God moves us out of here before they get here so that we have a place for the blessing. Do you have a place for your blessing? Do you have a place for your blessing? Do you? Do you have a place for your blessing? Do you have room to receive the blessing? Think about it. That's going to look different for everybody, but just think about it. Do you have room for it? Just like a woman when she's pregnant. You know, you wear maternity clothes. Now, some people are lucky enough not to wear maternity clothes. But I had to wear them right away because my body was expanding. And I had to have room for my babies to grow. Like, if you want your baby to grow, you know, if you want your miracle, whatever it is, your blessing, your promise, your dreams to grow, make room for them. Make room for them. Let's go into prayer. Say it. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Y'all share this video. Make sure you get your miracle throws, your miracle teas, everything. We got the breast cancer tea. Y'all know we're doing a big thing for breast cancer month uh, next month. And so uh, we want everybody to get a breast cancer shirt, male and female. We want you to post them on Facebook and hashtag Warriors Wear Pink. We're going to take over social media next month and just promote breast cancer awareness. We're going to be featuring a breast cancer survivor or someone who's going to survive, somebody who's in the battle right now, hopefully every day. So if you are a breast cancer survivor or you're in the fight and you're going to win, we know you're going to win according to Deuteronomy 20 and 4. We're going to post you and share your stories throughout the month of October. Let's go into prayer. Share this video, Warriors. Father, we thank you. We're ready. We are ready for the blessing, God. It's taking so much out of us to do this every day. But, Lord, we know to whom much is given, much is required. And, God, you're requiring the warriors to join in with us every day. We know it's because you have something so great for each and every one of us. And we thank you for it, God, that you turn our situations around, that you're blessing us, God, as you came, as you sent the angel to come and speak to Samson's mom and dad about his soon coming birth. We thank you, God, for the message today that a blessing is coming our way, that a promise is coming our way and God as Samson's mom had to prepare she had to stop doing certain things she had to stop eating certain things God whatever you tell us to do by the instruction of your Holy Spirit today we will make those adjustments adjustments so that we can handle the blessing and be prepared to carry the blessing to carry the promise Lord we thank you for today Lord please go before the warrior nation make every rugged path smooth every crooked place straight and bring every high place low I thank you father that they are safely out of the reach of their enemies and we're so thankful for it today enlarge the terror we have the revelation behind the prayer of Jabez. Now, God, enlarge their territories. Grant them favor, God. Rest your hand up on them. Bless them indeed. Type it in, Lord, bless me. Lord, bless my family. Type it in, Lord, bless my community, Lord. Bless me. Bless my church family. Bless my pastor. Bless my children. Speak blessings over other people today. Lord, bless us. Bless us indeed. Bless the warriors indeed. Bless all that concerns them indeed as you did for Jabez. And God, we thank you that you're keeping us safe from hurt, harm, and pain. And we honor you for it this morning. Father, as we go out into this dark and perilous world today, we armor up with your full armor, the belt of truth around our waist, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. Father, we were standards of peace. We carry that shield of faith. We believe the warrior nation, we're radical. We have crazy faith, God. We take you at your word. We believe in your promises, God. If you said it, we already know that you will bring it to pass. And God, we carry the sword of the spirit, which is your word. We stand on your word, God. And we know that it's your word that you watch over and you are faithful to perform. It is your word that goes out and does that of which it was intended. It will not return void. So we thank you for this morning, God. We honor you. Father, for our precious Avery, Lord, we thank you for her life and we call her healed in the name of Jesus. For Shania, we call her healed and restored in the name of Jesus. For Jordan's strength, God, that he is restored and that he is a mouthpiece for you. God, use his mouth to bring glory and honor to your name. Lord, we still believe for Jahad McMath, an absolute miracle. For baby Gabriel, a miracle. For Mariah Grace, that she's going healthy and stronger every single day. And Lord, for the life of Monica Scythe, we will not forget. Lord, we speak blessings over her family today. And we thank you, God, that justice is being served in her court case. Lord, thank you for Regina's other children, God, that you're making them healthy and strong in you, that you're drawing their hearts closer 
and closer to you. We thank you, Father. Anyone has a petition today, if you haven't typed it in, whatever it is you believe in God for, whatever you're doing to prepare for your blessing, before we go, just type it in on the video. God sees every single petition, every single prayer, and he answers. So y'all type them in. Father, every petition has come in today. Lord, we thank that you see and you are answering in a way that will bring the most glory and honor to your name. Father, we bless you. We thank you for our time together. We honor you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Okay, warriors, bless you all. Remember to get your miracle throws. Go ahead and get those ordered um, so we can make sure we get those out to y'all in a timely manner. Get your miracle tees. Get your miracle hoodies. Bless somebody. Remember your breast cancer tees. Remember the women's conference. And I love y'all. Make room for the expansion. Make room for the preparation. Oh, and get my book. Thanks. It's going to bless you. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Today's going to be a great day. I speak unexpected checks into your mailbox. When it shows up today, somebody messaged me and let me know that you got it. To the Warrior uh, Prayers, Picks, and Testimony page. An unexpected check in your box today. We speak it into the atmosphere. So let us know when it shows up. You guys have a great day. Love you much. And we'll see you maybe later tonight. But if not, prayerfully in the morning. Love y'all. Have a great day. Love your Instagram. Love your Facebook. <laughs> we good, Britt? Did I get everything? No, yeah. When the post office sees Britain today, they're going to holler. <laughs> so many packages going out today. Love y'all. Have a great day. <laughs> she says you received that check in the mail. That's right. Love y'all. You are good. I didn't even know you put me on there. Who was this? Drain Trace underscore WN. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord said, I just put the check.